Hi YouTube, to be here, day number 49, and before I start drinking a beer and telling you all about it, I'd like to announce it's me missus's birthday. That's right, so, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Nemi. Happy birthday to you! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Why was she born so beautiful? Why was she born at all? Nah, fuck that shit, I'm only fucking with you, but nah, it is her birthday and why not sing happy birthday to a loved one? So there you go, YouTube, fucking, there you go, that's how legsy rolls. But today's beer is black graffiti there you go it's another one from um burley heads brewery up there in queensland it's um black graffiti and it's uh black coffee lager so it's from the burley brewing company a um, bit about it before i start drinking it what do they reckon i'll give you a bit of a rundown here burley brewing we only mix with the best that's why we commissioned our friends at Zafara's coffee to source our hand-picked uh, Abarica, uh, one of those coffee beans, um, roasted them down, the limited release rebrew, brew, caramel, chocolate and toffee malts with a unique blend of American hops. That's a fucking mouthful. We'll have a taste of it. So, if it tastes a bit like coffee, a bit like caramel, I'll be happy, you know, and um, yeah, a bit like chocolate. Maybe they've hit the nail on the head. 5% fucking alcohol content, 2.8 standard drinks, it's a 500 mil stubby. Yeah, I can, uh, I think it, yeah, graffiti, yeah, I don't know, fuck the fight, I probably said it wrong. Well, I definitely taste the, the first kick of, the, uh, of a black coffee, if you're drinking a black coffee for you, those coffee drinkers out there. It's definitely not a blend 43 um, S Cafe blend. It's more more of a um, like a gold blend. S Cafe gold. I can't taste the caramel. There's a slight hit of chocolate, but it's more bearing on the on the cocoa side. It's definitely not bitter. It sits on your palate for a while it's still sitting there, um, leaves a strong aftertaste, there you go, you can finally, right up towards the end, you can finally um, if you, uh, taste taste the caramel towards the end, so I've picked up all three flavours there, um, they work well with each other, yeah, pour it in the beer for us, in the beer, pour it in the bloody schooner glass, that's definitely a black. It's not um, uh, it's it's not thick like a Guinness. Definitely not thick. Bit of carbonation there. It's got a um, uh, you know, like iced coffee fucking head on it, so so to speak, like the colour. Yeah, for a black beer, I mean, you could drink several of these, but you probably. Unless you love your coffee and shit, you probably get sick of it pretty quick. You know, you could probably have five or six of these and you'd want to have to switch to something else. Because it's pretty overbearing, but I don't mind overbearing. Um, yeah, it's won a gold medal in World um, 2012 Championships. And from what it is, I'd have to give it a four out of five. Um, I love me dark beer more than any other beer, but I do like, it's just a... Some dark beers are better than other. But anyhow, that's enough of me raving on. Just remember to drink like an animal or drink like a fish. Party hard like an animal, but most importantly, be kind to one another. And I'll catch you on the flip side tomorrow, day 50, with another beer. Probably not a black beer, but I'll catch you on the flip side, people. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you tomorrow.